Um, right, now we have to go to the uh, piece that we started um, last week, that was the, the piece by Lag uh, Lagrima by, by Francisco Tarrega, remember? We started off um, like this. repeat that, that is the first part, and then we carried on the second part, which is where we finished last week, which goes like this. Remember this little double slur there? And we stop there, okay? And remember what I said, uh, be careful to play the melody down, apoyando, Everything else should be played very, very softly, especially this uh, second, uh, second part of the piece. This note here. It has to carry on sounding whilst you do the... very softly, because this is not part of the melody. If you don't do that, then this is going to happen. And it seems as if da 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 is also part of the melody, which it isn't, all right? It's, uh, it's just harmony. So um, I'm going to go to the board now, and uh, I'll give you the, the next uh, little part of that. Right, following what I've just, uh, I've just played, we have um, a little chord here of three notes. Fortunately, they, they are three open notes, open strings, because, and I say fortunately, because we have a jump to fret number 12, okay? If this had been a one or a two or a three or something where the left hand would have had to be up there, then it would have been a tremendous jump, you know, from there to the 12th uh, with uh, uh, the chance of, of missing the note altogether. But be because we have open notes there, we make use of, the, of those three open strings to take the hand down to fret number 12. So we have the little chord, 12, 7, 8, seven on the fourth string, eight on the first string. Now, please remember that because they are not, they are not one on top of the other, so they, they do not, they are not to be played together, they are to be played one after the other. First the seven, and then the eight. And the little numbers there indicate the, uh, the fingers of the left hand. I don't know whether I should still put uh, the, the T there uh, to remind you that this one is played with a thumb, and that one, well, that one, it depends. If you've played this one with the index finger, then, then that one with the middle finger. This one, this nine here with the thumb again, that one with the index possibly. If you've done index, middle, then it's index. Be careful here, because I've used finger one and finger two for fret seven and eight, and then finger three and finger four, because those are the two remaining fingers, the, the only two fingers which are free for 9, 10. So you've got not 12, 7, 8, 9, 10. And suddenly we find ourselves with our friend the bar, okay, which I'm sure you have already mastered by, by now. And it's bar 7. Okay, now there is a 7 here on the second string with a 1, which of course is the bar, base 7, which is also the bar, and all you need to do is put the second finger on fret number eight, okay? And we have a three note chord here. Now, I've done this, I've done a little line there, phrase mark on the seven and on the eight to show you that the sound of that chord has to carry whilst with a thumb you do nine, ten, nine on the fourth string with fingers three, four, and three. And there, there is a little, what? A little slur. You remember the slur? Okay, between the nine and the 10. I don't want you to play the 10, and this is why I haven't written the thumb note there. Okay, I've put thumb for the seven, thumb for the nine, nothing on the 10, because you are, you're supposed to hammer the 10 and produce a little slur there. It sounds much nicer than if you play it. So it's 
7 and 8 sounding at the same time very softly 9, 10, 9 and that is where the bar ends okay and again another note to help you move the hand all the way back to fret number 2 not 2 3 not 5 not and all the time with the bass note the 3 with the bass 2 the 5 with the bass 4 3 not 5 not 7 not and please follow the fingering I cannot stress enough the importance of using always the same fingers of the left hand if you don't do that your fingers will never learn the piece okay uh, remember what I what I said always remember this there are two kinds of memory there is this memory and there is finger memory occasionally this one fails and this is where finger memory comes in okay occasionally one gets a, a, a lapse of, of memory you, you, you forget what's coming next and the fingers automatically go to the required place why because it's done it so many hundreds of times that it's now you know and natural for the fingers but if you use different fingers every time you you play uh, different notes the fingers will argue among themselves they, they won't know which one goes where okay so I think we'll we'll leave it there uh, now and then I'll go back to the guitar now and I will uh, I will play that for you right um, we finished last week here right now we go to the board and we have a chord a three note chord three strings open which gives you the chance to bring your hand down to the 12 12 7 8 9 10 you see with the two remaining fingers finger one finger two finger three finger four and that is followed by bar number seven so we've got bass seven seven on the second string and your finger on the eighth fret so we have a three string chord there and whilst that is sounding with a thumb you do nine ten nine you see i did not play the ten i did not do nine ten nine i did nine slur forward slur followed by an open note which gives you the chance to take the hand back two and then two three not four five not five seven not okay I'll do all that without stopping now from where we left off last week Again, this is a piece which you have to play very, very softly, very gently, very slowly until you know it. I mean, the whole thing should be played uh, at this speed. And again, and again, and again, until you know it, and then you increase the speed a, a little bit. Right, next week, um, which is the, the last program of the series, I will, um, I will in fact, finish uh, Lagrima for you. And today, to sign off, instead of playing a, a piece of my own, I've asked a very good friend of mine, excellent uh, classical guitarist, Yudhavin Sadon, to come into the studio with me. And uh, now we're going to play a little duet, which is a piece uh, called Drury's Accord. It's a, it's a, it's a baroque piece uh, by an anonymous uh, composer. And I hope you'll like it. Do join me next week when I shall be back with the last program of the guitar. Good night. Thank you.
Thank you.